Hi, I'm meteorologist Tony Petrarca in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link on this uh, Tuesday afternoon, about 3.30. We've been going back and forth between clouds and sunshine. This is the Doppler radar as of about 3.30, and, and we've seen a few, albeit isolated, showers. You see one area now crossing in between Route 44 and Route 6 in northwest Rhode Island. I wouldn't be surprised, maybe even the rumble of thunder. The few and far between. But you can see every now and then a little downpour. And in between some of these, uh, we're getting some splashes of sunshine as well. So they're short-lived and they're localized. But uh, that chance is there through at least the early evening. We've got a cloud-sun mix now in, um, in Providence. It is uh, relatively quiet. I want to talk about the tropics and, and Hurricane Fiona. Uh, this is the latest uh, satellite photo. Of course, New England is up in here. And, and this is um, Hurricane Fiona now pulling away. Uh, from Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. And you can see uh, well-defined circulation and a well-defined eye. <clears throat> the, the storm is a Category 3 hurricane. That uh, last check, it had winds uh, of 115 miles per hour. <clears throat> this is a, a high-resolution uh, satellite photo. It shows a lot of detail, and you can, and you can clearly see uh, the eye right in here. Uh, the Bahamas and, of course, uh, Florida. So this is tracking off to, to the north and west. The, the track still takes it well off the east coast, so confidence is high that uh, this is not a threat in terms of, obviously, rain and wind. But even a storm that moves that far offshore is going to throw back some, some rough surf and waves and swell up and down the east coast. So I would imagine, um, though nothing's been issued yet, there'll be some, some sort of surf advisory and rip current uh, risks over the next uh, several days. And, and we'll keep you updated on that, even with the storm staying well offshore. In the meantime, we're tracking a system coming through right now, causing a few isolated showers. And we'll keep this in the forecast through the early evening and then uh, drying out overnight. But for this evening, chance of an isolated shower, uh, about a 30 40% chance. Uh, temperatures in the 60s. Tomorrow morning, starting with clouds, could be a couple of leftover showers across southeastern Mass. But the trend will be for increasing sunshine uh, late morning, and especially during the afternoon. And uh, temperatures topping out in the lower 70s. Overall, it's uh, pretty comfortable on Wednesday, especially Wednesday afternoon. We're bringing back the chance for showers with the approach of a cold front on Thursday. All right, that's your latest Weather Now update. Thanks for logging in. We'll talk to you soon.